Hey, what's up everybody? This is Danny and I am out here in downtown Honolulu on my lunch break in front of the state capitol and I just wanted to do another walking uh, watch review. I've been doing a whole bunch of these lately and uh, today I want to do something a little different. Uh, I think maybe I'll make a habit of doing a, a couple of these and I want to talk about uh, cheap watches that you can wear that you get a lot of value out of. Uh, so uh, today's watch is the Vostok Komandirsky uh, watch and um, this is a Soviet Russian design and I have actually modified it by putting on a stainless steel Jubilee bracelet because nothing makes Russian products better than putting Western accessories on them right so before any of you go crazy let me just say first and foremost that uh, uh, this is a Russian watch but wearing Russian products does not necessarily mean that you have to support the Russian action in Ukraine, which is a very terrible thing. So glory to Ukraine, and um, I hope you guys will learn more about the situation that's uh, evolving over there and support our uh, Ukrainian brothers and sisters in the fight for freedom. But that being said, this is a very interesting watch to wear. As I said, it's a Russian-Soviet design, uh, very old, and... Um, Basically, the Russian military originally designed these um, for um, their military commanders. So there was um, one that was basically used for uh, each of their military services. This particular one here is the uh, Navy version of the Vostok Komandirsky. And um, you'll have to forgive me, I'm not that familiar with um, Soviet submarine recognition, but I think that uh, that's actually a Soviet November class uh, nuclear submarine on there. I'm not sure. I should probably know better because like I've been reading like a lot of uh, books recently about uh, the Cold War, Blind Man's Bluff, um, Red November, and um, a couple of other ones, but I'm sorry. I don't recognize the submarine, but Anyways, this identifies it as the uh, naval version. And there's a couple of variants of this. Uh, if you ever watch the movie The Kursk, I think an alternate title for that was The Command. Uh, there's a very famous uh, scene in that movie where, um, you know, the Russian sailors are trying to buy uh, champagne, vodka, and caviar for a wedding. They don't have enough, and so they decide to uh, give up. Uh, one of their uh, Vostok Komandirsky watches, um, you know, to help offset the price. And then, of course, when the sailors perish at the end, uh, the commissary uh, director um, gives the watch back to the guy's um, son. But um, anyways, it's a very interesting watch. And uh, like I said, um, you know, it's a lot cooler when you put on like a custom bracelet on it. I'm like addicted to jubilee bracelets i wish that they actually had an 18 millimeter uh two-tone stainless steel uh gold um jubilee that i could put on this and maybe they do maybe i just need to do a little better research or or procurement sourcing whatever but um i like it with the jubilee it looks really cool um the only problem with this watch is that uh it doesn't have a uh, hacking on it and it's manually wound so you gotta wind it um you know, every single morning. And, um, you know, some people say that you can do reverse hacking on it, but sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, I kind of wonder, you know, what the utility was of the Soviets, uh, you know, designing this watch for their commanders, right? Because if you don't have hacking, you know, how can you like accurately time a missile launch or, you know, how can you accurately time uh, maneuvers if like, you know, you're, you're like seconds off and it just goes on and on and on, but I don't know. Maybe that's why they're not doing so good in their military campaigns, because they don't have uh, good chronographs, right? So, anyways, I hope you guys have uh, a great day. Like I said, you know, I'm here in uh, uh, downtown, uh, right by the state capitol, and um, uh, over by uh, Washington Place, which you can't see. It's, you know, behind all of those trees and the tall bamboo, but... Um, yeah, just taking my lunch break, doing a quick uh, cheap watch review. And um, I think I'll do some more of these, these reviews. Uh, I'll talk about uh, cheap, low-cost watches that, uh, you know, you can get a lot of value of, that you can enjoy, that you can pick up easily and um, have a lot of fun with. So, anyways, you guys take care, and I will talk to you soon. Aloha.